Cancer, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning and for those of you that are brand new, welcome to our channel. Appreciate each and every one of you being here. And cross watchers, of course, you're welcome too. We couldn't do this without you. Uh, this is definitely intended as a love reading, but you know, sometimes this can all be you. Sometimes it can all be whoever you're thinking about, okay? So take it out how it resonates for you. Just remember it's a general read. I'm using traditional uh, tarot here. So your energy here, your person of interest, crush, ex, uh, somebody in your future could be here. And again, it could crisscross over. Check your moon rising Venus sign. Sometimes my moon sign, which just happens to be in Cancer, resonates more for me or I get messages from my sun sign Scorpio as well as my Cancer moon sign. So definitely check out the other signs. There are playlists that you can check out. Let's get started. For those of you that are brand new, check out the Healing Stone Bracelet Giveaway. They're handmade by myself. I give away three each month. That's all in the description box. Okay, so check that out definitely because it's absolutely free. It's just my way of saying thank you so much for your support. And all you need to do to get in on that is like and subscribe. I just saw 111 for those of you that are seeing triple digits or 1111 333 Check that out. There are meanings behind it. Those are called angel numbers. Okay. Sort of interrupt, but I had to say that I just happened to glance and that's what happens the last few days I've been seeing it a lot and every time I see it on my phone I take a screen print So it's like my phone is full of screen prints right now with triple and, and uh, triple digits and 1111 Anyhow, where was I? Let's get started. Okay I will get more into it a little bit later as we go through but I'm anxious to see this too because this is my moon sign So I'm very interested. So this is gonna be loud when I shuffle So if any of you are wearing earbuds or uh, headphones, you might want to back them out for a second. Okay So for cancer Sun Moon Rising and Venus now how tarot works for those of you that are brand new this doesn't mean it's happening right now. This can happen six months into the future. I've had clients of mine come back to me and say that didn't resonate at the time, but now everything's happening. So keep that in mind. It doesn't mean it's happening now. This could have been something that's already happened for some of you. Some of you, it could be six months, a year in the future. It could happen tomorrow or next week, okay? It may not happen at all. Then this isn't your story. But if you're feeling it a little bit, then it definitely could be. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirits, for May 2020. If it does resonate for you, I continue your reading over on Vimeo and it's another plus or minus 15 minutes. It's usually over and I will definitely be digging a lot deeper. I will be concentrating on June 2020 in the extended. Okay. I will be pulling oracle cards. I'm also going to pull the moonology, which are absolutely fantastic messages and guidance messages from the universe. I'm going to use my vintage deck as well over there. This is from the 1960s and 70s. So you can imagine how many hands have been on those on this on, on both of these decks here. They are extraordinary. So I love getting those and I will get double, triple sometimes. Well, who was it last week? I got quadruple uh, messages from four different decks, the same cards, which, you know, confirmed everything that I saw and was saying. So keep that in mind, okay, that the extended really does dig very deep. It's a lot less expensive than a personal reading. But if it resonates for you, then hey, that may be all you wish to uh, wish to see. Okay, for Cancer, what are the messages for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirits, for May 2020. What are the messages that Cancer needs to hear? Wow, Cancer, Ace of Swords. Now, this could be you having an epiphany, getting clarity, having that awakening. This can also be someone speaking their truth to you or you're kind of seeing the truth. We're going to dig. We got to dig. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Wow. Okay, so whatever has been hidden or kept in the dark is going to come to light. You're going to gain clarity and knowledge. This could be you. You're suddenly kind of like, oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, that can be. It's becoming very clear on something going on. What? Why is the moon card here? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or a Pisces. Why is the moon card here for Cancer, please? What is coming to light, please, spirits? What is coming to light for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Whoa, I love the way they're flipping out. They did that yesterday. King of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Somebody close to you. And this could be their energy. Okay. This is someone who is very uh, passionate, very driven. This is a leader type of person. They take on responsibilities like there's no tomorrow. It's somebody who is just, they've got that inner drive with them. It's a fire sign. Again, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. It's somebody who's very fired up. So, you know, somebody around you or somebody close to whomever you're thinking about, 
again you know there was things that weren't known and they're going to come to light they or you are becoming very clear on something it's having an epiphany an awakening sometimes it can mean that somebody's had a brand new idea and they're ready to initiate the idea and and take control of it but let's keep going we have the four of cups so this is someone that is focusing on the past instead of what could be in the future it's instead of what could be they're focusing on the emptiness or the depression or the anxiety or the hurt or whatever it is they're focusing on the past they're not ready to see this new love now this may have been them before but now they're becoming clear coming out of the dark they're kind of getting this epiphany that could be maybe they're unhappy where they are or where they have been that can be you okay maybe you're kind of becoming clear that You've been focusing on the past too much and not seeing possibly a new opportunity in front of you. It can be love. It can be anything. Cups generally are about emotions. Let's go ahead and get uh, your person's energy. i got to give them a good shuffle first. For Cancer, your person of interest, please, spirits. What does Cancer need to know for their highest good for May 2020? What are the messages for Cancer regarding whomever is on their mind, please, spirits, for May 2020, what is going on for Cancer and their person of interest? What does Cancer need to know for their highest good, please, spirits? What are the messages, please? What are the messages for Cancer regarding their love interest or whomever is on their mind? What does Cancer need to know about them, please, spirits? May 2020, what are the messages for Cancer? <laughs> okay, that's too many. Let's redo that. They are jumping. I'm telling you, I can feel them. Okay, let's get a grip on this. For Cancer's person of interest, what are the messages, please? What are the messages? They're getting stuck. So maybe your person is feeling stuck. Again, somebody's focusing on the past, but they're becoming clear, I feel. And if that's not them, that's you. It's kind of like... I'm getting clarity. I know that I've been refusing everything and I've been in a ne negative. I feel somebody's been in a negative mindset. Okay, so somebody could be focusing now on regaining their balance. They may just be getting their balance back. That could be you. Uh, maybe you were focusing too much on the past. You've been in the dark about a few things and now maybe you're kind of this light bulb's gone off and you're kind of becoming clear that. Um, you know, you, you're getting your drive back and you want balance and maybe you've been kind of ignoring everything and everybody because you've been focusing on the past too much. Um, you're becoming clear on something, okay? You may be regretting some things you said or did in the past. And if it's not you, it's the cross watcher. Again, why is a justice card here, please, for cancer or whomever they're thinking about? Why is the justice card here? Wow, okay. So there's going to be justice or balance coming together in a love situation. This can be brand new love. Again, this is a universe trying to offer somebody this cup, but somebody was too focused on the past, and now here it is. So I feel like your person, um, if you have a person, again, if this isn't a person correct right now in your life, this could be somebody in the future. It could be a Libra, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it could be another water sign, but this is about finding the balance and having this offer of love. So it's like justice is coming in for somebody that wasn't ready to see this love in the past, this offer of love in the past. They're having an epiphany. And I feel like, again, somebody's getting their mojo back or somebody's kind of starting to take charge. It could just be as simple as there is a fire sign around you that has water and air in their chart. But this is somebody that I feel wants balance. They've had this epiphany and they're ready to offer their love to you or you to them. And this can be in the future, somebody that you meet in your future. Let's keep going. I will get the mutual energies between you and your person of interest. I will be using the Shacy Prism deck. That's our exclusive deck. Um, I always like getting the mutual energies with that. So let's check it out. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Cancer? Who is this beautiful Ace of Cups for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Wow, yeah, there's been a change. There has been, lessons have been learned, and somebody's having an epiphany. They've completed a major life cycle. This could be you. This is a major Arcana of the World card. Could be a Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, um, or Scorpio that you're dealing with, but this is completion. This is taking a new journey. This is having an opportunity to start fresh and brand new. We have a new beginning here. Somebody's becoming clear. 
I feel like they do have some regrets over how things happened in the past. I feel like they're having an epiphany. They want balance. I feel like balance is coming and a new love is coming, a new opportunity for you. And again, this could be somebody completely in your future that you haven't even met yet. But with the world card, this is absolute like I have a new sheet of paper and I can rewrite my life. This can be an actual taking a physical journey, okay? Somebody could be at a distance from you. It could be a new love at a distance from you in your future. Uh, you may consider, look at this. Yeah, see, look at this. There's some news coming in. Expect a message. It's something that's really good. I feel like somebody wants to say, I have love for you. I have love for you. I, I realize what I've done and I'm, I'm sorry. Like I was too focused on the past and this could totally be you. Or again, cross watcher. Let's get some mutual energies, cancer and final. Leave me comments down below. I want to hear from you. Okay, let's give them a good shuffle. So don't forget about the bracelets. Don't give away a giveaway. Again, all you got to do is subscribe. That is free. Like this video. That's free as well. Leave me a comment down below so I know who you are. But better than that, um, check out our Facebook page. I'm mostly on Facebook. And I give a lot of positive quotes on there you might want to check out. I post the bracelet giveaway on there as well. The link to that will always be on there or Instagram or leave a recommendation on Facebook if you wish to do so. If you like this reading, that would be fantastic. Either way, I want to hear from you what is going on. Even if you come back a few months later and you say this happened and that happened, I want to hear from you. These both wanted to drop out. Look at this. The universe is saying... You both are working super hard or this again could just be you. So take it how it resonates for you. You could be dealing with an earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can also mean that you're just working really hard towards your future, towards new opportunities. You had an epiphany. Maybe you were focusing too much on the past and now you're starting to do things for yourself and you get some good news regarding a job or an opportunity. Or it could be the outcome of a court case or something legal battle you were going on you're getting some good news about. It could be. And this allows you to take this new journey with this good news. You've been working hard and it's finally paying off. Or again, this is a new opportunity coming in in love and somebody else has had this epiphany about you and you know, they're, they're wanting to come in and message you that, you know, I love you and I want to see you. And, um, I've been focusing on work and I'm sorry. Like I've just had this epiphany about us. That could be as well. Let's keep going. Definitely new opportunities here. Wow, what was I saying? Reunion, reconciliation. You definitely could be reuniting with somebody. It could be somebody from your past. It could be somebody that you were just friends and you're seeing them again. Either way, maybe it's been a friend of yours that just suddenly realized they have this overwhelming love for you. I mean, look at that beautiful cup. It is overflowing here. It is. And this is an opportunity from the universe. You see that? And they weren't seeing it before. They're seeing it now. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. That's awesome. Let's clarify this Ace of Swords. Now, again, I will clarify a lot further in the extended with other decks as well. But right now, I want to clarify that Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for that? Wow. Okay. So somebody's been waiting. There you go. What was I saying about working? Somebody's been diligently working. They could be, you know, they could have been just so focused on work and their priority was saving their money. They were saving their money for the future. Stockpiling it here, maybe under the mattress. I don't know, but somebody's, you know, it's kind of like they're taking a step back and they're having this epiphany. It's kind of like, da da. You know, I'm becoming clear now. I'm sitting here and I'm focusing so much on work. I'm forgetting the rest of my life here. You know, somebody's becoming clear that they have this new opportunity, but they were so focused on throwing themselves into their work, saving money that they weren't seeing this new opportunity. I feel that, you know, they kept it from you. Um, possibly a third party. It does not have to be. The third party could have been work. They were so busy focusing on saving money, but they're taking a step back now and they're having the epiphany that, hey, I've got this new opportunity that's going to pass me by here. Okay. And I feel like you're going to receive a message. They could be at a distance from you. Again, this could be somebody in your future. This just wants to drop. Wow. Look at that. Knight of Swords. This uh, Somebody now has had this epiphany and they might just all of a sudden pff, come racing in and just like, I love you. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy. It's like the doing, the ding. 
<laughs> da ding look at this and he's racing in it's like he's just suddenly really he or she it's not gender specific okay but this is somebody that's just kind of suddenly realizing and taking this step back like how long am i going to wait for my money to grow before i i i come in here like this person's waiting for me this could be you waiting for them it could be them waiting for you either way somebody's having this epiphany and now they're racing to kind of get things done this somebody could just be either really excited or they're just like I feel like they're bursting that's what I feel like and I saw that in this Scorpio reading too so you could be dealing with a Scorpio it doesn't have to be um, you know you've got water water in your it's water your water sign hello and it's like scorpio's water sign too so it, it would be you know similar but somebody's getting it that's what i'm seeing here it's like they just they've been throwing themselves in and concentrating so much on work that they just forgot life it's like they forgot life that's what i'm seeing okay but expect a message somebody might just suddenly race in towards you here i want to get the other side here what is this good news about why is the page of wands here for cancer please sun moon rising and venus for may 2020 why is the page of wands here oh yeah look at that they got their mojo back it's somebody that suddenly had an epiphany and now they're all fired up and they're ready to rock and roll that's what i'm saying they are ready to rock and roll here i feel they want to be intimate with you but they make no mistake there's a lot of love here and it's overflowing and i feel like somebody's going to come in towards you and they're going to be very excited I see excitement, I see passion, I see love. That's what I'm seeing. It's like they can't wait. Now that they've had this epiphany, they cannot wait. I need to write that down. <laughs> cannot wait, cannot wait. I've got to remember that. No, somebody's ready to just fly in here towards you. That's what I'm seeing. I don't feel this is your energy. I feel like somebody's got a ton of fire in their chart. It could be. It could be you. Uh, you know, if you have strong fire in your chart or you're just taking, all of us can take on the energy of fire, water, earth, or air. We all get angry. We all get mad. We all, you know, feel love. We all feel whatever. I mean, that's how it works, right? Let's get one moonology. And then we're going to head over into Vimeo for the extended. So in the extended, I'm going to concentrate on June 2020. We're going to sneak peek. And I'm also going to pull some love oracle guidance messages from the universe as well. And I have my gorgeous new deck, which I just love. It's the Psychic Tarot Heart Oracle. So we're going to pull some of those as well as the... Uh, uh, these are called the energy oracles as well, okay? I'm gonna dig like I like to dig. Look at that. Nothing is yet in stone. Nothing is yet in stone. So somebody may want to fly in towards you, tell you they've had this epiphany, this wake up call, and they wanna set it in stone here because maybe they're suddenly realizing that um, they didn't see this before. They were so, so focused on themselves and whatever they were going through that they just weren't seeing you or vice versa they weren't seeing it and now they're seeing it okay and they're not telling you with that moon card okay i feel like that's either them they didn't see it before and now they're becoming clear or this is you not knowing that they are just gonna suddenly fly in here and they're just so excited they are just like so excited to go it's like a fire was lit under their butt all of a sudden. Bam! And here they come. Cancer, uh, I'm going to go ahead into Vimeo. And again, we're going to definitely dig a lot deeper. We're going to find out what's going on here for June 2020. We're also going to do the pick a card with the romance angels in the extended as well. So if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. Let's go ahead and find out where this Knight of Wands is going to world card. we got to find out where is where is this energy headed here. Okay, see if we can figure out how long. Um, maybe I might, if I get time, I will pull a couple of the fortune cards as well. I will talk to you soon. Please don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that like button, notification bell, if you'd like to be notified, if you're one of the lucky winners, if you decide to enter the Healing Stone Bracelet giveaway. Okay, I thank you so much for being here. Again, all of that's in the description box. Everything you could imagine. And uh, stay focused, stay positive, stay happy, stay healthy. And I feel like we're all getting through this very soon. I do. I can feel it. For those of you meeting me on Vimeo, I will be right there. Namaste.